Welcome to Trip Bitten. Today we are standing in front of a Walmart here in Beijing. And so we've seen a lot of videos uh, like this in the past where they take you into a grocery store or a Walmart and show you what it's like. Uh, so we're going to take you in and uh, show you around. It should be interesting. This is one of the largest ones here in, in Beijing. The city, so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at all these shrimp you can buy. There's frozen, but uh, there's a whole big freezer full of shrimp. So these are like little like insect larvas that you can buy and fry and cook. And they're pretty cheap. Are they? So it's like half a kilo for, for just like 14. It's 14. like two US dollars. Something That's not like too that. bad, yeah. That's not. And you can get little frozen bad. fish here too. Uh, just out. Scoop them up or you can get them in the little packages here. Interesting. Here you can get your raw chicken feet oh and you can cook them yourself. Dear. Delicious. Actually, we have a video where we eat chicken feet, so you can check that out. Oh. It was delicious. Yvonne really Super. loved it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so you can buy pig feet here too. If you look in the back there, it's like. This is good, right? Good. Good. This is 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 the shoulder. Ah, uh, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. Ah, shoulder. <laughs> you can also buy intestines here yeah. and uh, you can buy the liver just out and about. <laughs> uh, but here in China, many people eat this. Hendo ran to jigga zai jungle. Uh, very interesting. Uh, very yeah. yeah. So he's saying they make it in a spicy dish and make it very spicy. Uh, and then it's supposed to be good. And it's good for you. Well, <laughs> Oh, so these are the sea cucumbers that are super expensive. And they're not really that tasty, but Chinese people love to eat them. They look like pickles, pickles pieces. They look like pickles, kind of, yeah, but they're like sea slugs or sea, sea cucumbers, as they call them here. So what are you looking at? I'm looking at the avocados. And uh, they're eight quite here for... Eight yeah, quiet per, per one, one, right? Which that's is pretty like good. A dollar, roughly, and that's not a, that's a good price because I've seen them for 20 RMB per piece. Per piece for 20, and they're only here for eight. Right, that's pretty so cheap. That's, you should probably get some. Yes. Make some guac and bring it tonight. Oh, yes. <laughs> but then, I don't know which ones. Avocados, I love them, but I hate them. They're hard to tell when they're ripe. There's that funny YouTube video where the guy's like, I'm an avocado, and then I'm ripe for like a day, and, and then, then I'm uh, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know. So we have here like uh, the dragon fruit, I believe, and then behind it we have uh, durian, maybe jackfruit. And then we also have pineapples over there. Passion fruit, uh, 22 for six. That is what? We might have five per piece. I would say that's a fairly good Less deal. Less than a dollar per one? Yeah. yeah. So, uh... Let's put them in a card. Yeah, let's do it. Because you can make like a, like a passion fruit juice or a shake yeah, or something. Yeah, I put it in my yogurt in the morning. Put it in Although, yogurt. Although, recently I haven't been eating breakfast at home because we have such good breakfast at work now. <laughs> These are all instant noodles. These are all instant noodles. You can get everything here. Like, 
there's so many different flavors. So there's shrimp, there's beef. These are like ramen, like the Japanese noodles. And uh, you also have like, uh, this looks like some kind of beef, like pork, maybe. Um, and then you have the different ones that are like spicy versus uh, just like normal and the different flavors. So there's plenty here. There's too many. I was noticing here on the left you have your bowl noodles and on the right are you back in some noodles. What do you have? Seats. Something with passion fruit. Oh, more passion fruit more stuff. More passion fruit. Oh, and all the seeds in the bottom. Oh, we, we have a wild lungenberry. Wild lingon strawberry juice. Granberry. Whoa, all cool. the sugary, sugary stuff. You also have like Capri Suns here too, so oh, that's yeah. very American. We used to have those when I was growing up. Oh yeah? Yeah, we used to drink them as kids. Yeah, we these are really good. It's like a lemonade. I drink this one often all the time. And Yvonne sometimes likes that one on the end. Was that more like a lime? Um, calamansi. Oh, okay. okay. Doesn't know calamansi. I, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, you could get these. You like these. These are the little um leeches. Leeches, right? A leech streak. They just drink. Oh, and they also have like this. This is like the these. I think these are like the V8 type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, fruity drinks. They were like still supposed to be sweet, healthy, but I, I don't think these are saying 30%. I guess less, maybe more. I don't know what it's saying. Oh, more fruit. 30% more real fruit juice. <laughs> Whereas before it was like fake fruit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> fake news. Fake fruit. <laughs> so they also have a lot of prepared uh, like snacks. So you can see here, Yvonne will walk down and tell me what these are. Okay, we got eggs, pancakes, some donut rolls. Oh, these are like glutinous rice bowls with sesame. I don't know what these are. Your peanuts, whoa. Really spicy They're something. Really fried, it has peanuts and fried peppers and there's something in the pepper. Looks like some kind of chicken no, type dish maybe. No clue. Hmm. More looks crackers. like uh, yeah, some crackers, they some like long kong type things, but like the crispy wrong kongs. Oh, here's some like uh, chicken. chicken and fish. Oh, and fried chicken. I wonder what their fried chicken tastes like. No. It doesn't look very good. And I wonder how long it's been out there. <laughs> they usually should put a date. Oh, they usually have a, a rotisserie here, but nothing's happening today. This one's just turning. I guess all their chicken is already uh, cooked. You can see here. Well, here we get some birdies. Yeah, some kind of chicken legs or some kind of little... Oh, that's a duck, I that's think. A, is it? It seems a little small for a duck. Yeah, but look at its head. Oh, yeah. It's a tea, tea duck. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Right. And chickens. Is that a duck? No, that's chicken, actually. This that, one's yeah, chicken? That's a yeah, it was a character for chicken. Oh, okay. Uh, chicken, duck. I'm sure you can get duck. This is something black. Well, yeah, it sure looks black. Half <laughs> chicken. It's the, a roasted, it's the roasted black chicken. Oh, this looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, these little wings don't look very appetizing. But then also you can get these things here, which is like, um, like a, uh, yeah, you can get malatong. So you can get, what, what, how do you do that when you want one of these? So what do you do? So you get, you pick all your vegetables and whatever you like, and then you bring it, to, in a restaurant, you bring it to the counter, they weigh it for you. Boil it in the soup and then they'll bring it out. It's but like in this case, you would just like I pick everything, you right? Pick everything and they, take it home. They put it for you, right? They make no, it. No, it doesn't look like they will cook it here. I think they cook it here. Maybe, I don't know. Because this is the prepared food. All right, well, we don't want that, so we won't try Wait, it. And we don't know. <laughs> So what have we found? Oh, we found Snack Alley. So here, you can just get your snacks. They're all And what is this? Loose. You start off with some chicken feet. Mmm, delicious. Yes, you got, <laughs> so 
so you can get your bag and then just take whatever snacks you want and put them in your bag and there's all kinds of things. And then at the end they weigh yeah. it up? Yeah, you weigh it up and then you take home this. Well, here we go. All these are the same price, or most of them, so we have Yeah, most of these are what, 27.8 for well, one gin, gin, 500 grams. So here we have some egg. We have all kinds of things I am not familiar with. <laughs> any idea what any of these are? Wongo. No. It's oh. like a whole... Looks like gelatin know, or something. Like jelly? Whoa. Oh, there's like a liquid inside? Oh, I don't Anybody know. Knows what this is? Um, we should ask the lady behind you what she's purchasing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Beijing. So basically yeah, just a ton of just snacks. a lot of snacks, like lollipops. Oh yeah, you got lollipops yeah, over here. Lollipops. You know what a lollipop is, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> a little, um, What's this? It's, it's a corn. It's a little it's piece a corn. of corn. Probably. I have no like idea. It probably does taste like corn. That sounds disgusting. You don't want corn candy? <laughs> well, actually, it, well, hey. no, that doesn't taste like corn, but Halloween's coming up and we always have the little candy corns. That's the only corn candy I know. Right. I don't know one. <laughs> you don't know candy corns? Oh my god. Oh, here, like chocolate with little cookies and cream. So, really, in this snack, oh, it's alligator, like a little pudding. Yeah. You have all, everything pretty much you want. You would want. Well, uh, Rice Krispie treat type things on the end. But they probably aren't sweet. They're probably more like a, a rice cracker. Oh, wait. And oh, and then you have meat on this oh, side. Meat. Oh, that's like snack beef jerky, meat. right? Oh, it looks like beef jerky. I wonder what it tastes oh, like. And he, we like to eat these. Oh, what are they? They're the little they're like pe peas. Little peas. peas. We have peas with traditional taste, garlic flavor. These are what? Oh, crab roll. Don't like these so much, but yeah. So, tons, tons of, of snacks on each snacks. side. More meat, cabbage. I think yeah, some kind of cabbage. I'm sure we'll see an egg too. Oh, we got some kind of trail mix here. That looks kind of good, actually. So it's got little peas and little, uh, like, a spicy trail mix. Oh, yeah. It actually looks tasty. And there's another one that looks like it's a crab. Classic crab crackers is what it says on the package. Interesting. But, yeah, you can get all these little things and then, you know, take them for you oh, yeah. as snacks. And lots of little meats, lots of little uh, sausages and things. Tofu. Oh, tofu. Yeah. 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 So one of the things that you normally have in like these Walmarts or these bigger stores, Carrefour or something, is they have like a import store. So if you look up here, um, you can see all the flags. So this is indicating this is like the imported products section, uh, which is uh, usually more expensive, but also sometimes will have things that you normally don't get in regular Chinese uh, like grocery stores. And so we'll go down that in a second. And see if there's anything worth uh, worth uh, picking up. Uh, so one of the things, actually, this is oh, we made it to the beer aisle. So they import a lot of beer uh, because it's uh, the beer here in China is not so great. So they import a lot of beer from Germany and from uh, other places. And so this is actually the I guess liquor aisle. You can see lots of wine and stuff here. Let's go find the import owl, and then we can walk down that. Yes, yeah, so you have your Goose IPAs, you have your Guinness, and you have your Ho Garden, you got your Corona, and you got uh, some other things up at the top, the Vol, and uh, some other imported beers. I don't know most of these beers. I don't really drink alcohol. So here's our health wine. Healthy wine. Yes. <laughs> we have all the Baijos. And what is it, actually? It is disgusting. <laughs> but it's Baijiu, right? It's Baijiu, oh, yeah. which is like white alcohol, literally. But and it's, it's healthy. Uh, yeah, that's what they say here. <laughs> it is like spiritus. It's pretty gross. It has a really strong flavor. You can't mix it with anything. It's usually but, like, what, 80, 90% or something? Yeah, something? It's like grain alcohol. It's like moonshine. It is the Agua This Oh, this is 42%. Okay. That's not so bad. That's not too bad. But I do have to say, I do have to say there are a few brands that are actually pretty decent and they don't taste that bad. They're actually quite Well this good. one's like 52% alcohol. So yeah. And if you for 
And in case you're throwing a party, you can get this uh, <laughs> jug. jug. That's not water. For 50, 40, what? 40 RMB? 40 RMB for How literally much? a jug of moonshine. What is there? <laughs> How much is in here? Five liters. Five liters? Five liters for 40 Of RMB. alcohol? So, if you want to get drunk really cheaply, come to China. Oh, yo. If you want to get sick, Come to don't, China. Don't, don't drink this. <laughs> you want to get sick, don't drink your health wine. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. But the truth is, something like this, the Moon Pie, um, that is actually, that's like a well-known brand. Yeah. And it's actually pretty good. It's yeah. really loud here all of a sudden. So there are good ones. So it is kind of like any wine or alcohol. Some are better than others, um, as you can imagine. Oh, Korean sucky. Peach. Mango, peach. It just says fruits. <laughs> but that's like plum, that's grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit, plum, blueberry, Ooh, pomegranate. Pom pomegranate. Both I think like that's mango. mango and one's mango, one's maybe peach, or maybe they're both mango. So much stuff you can buy in this Walmart. It's quite insane. And don't forget your daily nuts, if you know what I mean. Yvonne. <laughs> they also have these little chocolate moon cakes that I like. You can see them here, they have uh, just the traditional flavor, those are the ones I like, but they also have like strawberry, and they have matcha tea flavored, and then they have like uh, down here some of their flavors that are like uh, coffee, as you see the coffee beans here, and then um, some different ones too. Um, lots of snacks here like this that people like to eat. So the import aisle ended up being just kind of like a long skinny aisle that just kind of didn't really happen. Uh, and the products here aren't really that great. You can see Nature Valley if you are uh, familiar with that. And there's some uh, different snacks here. But these are kind of like the imported things. If you see it just kind of goes down to where these people are standing. Um, but the import aisle is really not that great. And I guess a lot of other things are imported. Um, but they don't end up on this special import aisle. Where are we now? Chips Alley. My favorite alley. Oh, your favorite alley. <laughs> yeah, I like chips. All right, whoa, this must be really spicy. I haven't never seen this one Say before. Say numb. Numb and spicy <laughs> numb hot and pot spicy flavor. Hot pot flavor. Numb and spicy, oh, Jesus. oh my goodness. We that should, sounds pretty. That sounds like we have to come back and get these. But we did a chip we, chip uh, video. Yeah, I, Nobody watched it. Oh. <laughs> Sad time, kimchi? go watch it. Kimchi, kimchi? <laughs> have you had that before? Me, personally? Yeah, you, yeah it was you guys? It was very, have you? I don't think it was very kimchi. strange. The what else do we have? Wasabi. Oh, wasabi. We're gonna do the Oreos in a minute. What? That jackfruit? Jackfruit? Jackfruit chips. Jackfruit? Oh my goodness. Pure tomato, American classic flavor. I think we should come back and do another. Is this lime down here? Oh, we got a lime flavor down here. Yogurt with cucumber. I think we tried the lime flavor one when we did our video. Cheese flavor. Oh, we did the cucumber one for sure. Cheese flavor. Cheese well, flavor. that could be okay. Yeah, I like cheese. I mean, yeah, because you have like Doritos that are cheese. Oh yeah. Right here. Oh, so that's like nacho cheese. Good. Yeah, that's not so weird. Oh, lots of Lay's. Yeah. Pringles maybe somewhere. And that was the Pringles oh. down at the bottom. Sure than I thought it was going to be. Oh. That's what all. do we have next? Popcorn. <laughs> Popcorn in a tin. Oh yeah. I've never tried that. This doesn't sound so. Doesn't sound so appealing. And then these snacks. Little Japanese snacks, crackers. I like these too. They're good. Oh yeah, those are tasty. Recommended, yes. yes. You can get oh. the small package. You don't have to get a big package. These oh, we two. should get some stuff for tonight. Oh yes, also recommended these. Mm. Oh yeah, those little crackers are really nice. Yeah. They have like a, it's, it's like a salty flavor, but it's, salty, it's, yeah. it's, yeah, they're really, they're strange flavor, but it's good. Kinder Buenos. <laughs> Kinder Bars. I don't think we have those in the States, really. But you don't have Kinder Buenos in the States? I don't think so. How did you live without those as a child? I don't know. We had Snickers and, and Twix. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Oh, I had dried one fruit. Of these the other days. Which ones? Oh, this is like dried my, fruit. Yeah. My coworker was eating some snacking, and I tried one, and I wasn't sure about it. Like if I liked it. Is that peach? I don't know. Sweet out. It looks like something. Oh, I like don't know. That. Um. But yeah. I tried one of these. You had one of these. I don't remember which one. Not so sure about them. Oh, so last week my coworker gave me these, and um, it's like a kimchi, like tofu. It's spicy. Uh, what are you pointing at? The face. Oh, the little guy. It doesn't look so happy. I didn't. That's probably what I looked like when I was eating them, because they're so weird. They're really oily, and then when you bite into them, they're a bit spicy, but. I actually didn't mind it, but it was it was bizarre the first piece I took. But there's a lot of them here. Apparently, she was saying that everybody, um, when they're growing up, they eat this. Like here in China, this is a very typical, like children's snack. So as you guys know, that uh, Walmart is not just for uh, food. So they also have a lot of like uh, household uh, products, like soap and things like that, and they also have electronics. Behind me you have some towels coming up, but then over here uh, we have some uh, electronics all going along the back there. So I'm going to walk along and show you uh, the electronics real quick. It's basically your TVs and your little uh, gadgets that you'd normally buy at a Walmart. And then um, we'll go to the other section real quick and then that'll be it for the Walmart tour here in Beijing. So here you can get a bunch of power banks. If you don't have a power bank, uh, you should probably buy one. <laughs> because cell phones die so quickly. It seems everybody in China has like two or three power banks. Uh, headphones for listening to music. Um, some kind of uh, speakers. As you can hear. And then a bunch of TVs on the walls over here. Again, this is less exciting. It's just your typical. They also have some cell phones in the case over there. And. Uh, over here we have some clothes on this side, so you can, you know, Walmart always sells clothes, so you can buy, uh, you know, some shirts, I don't know. What do you guys think? This one look okay? Another white shirt. Uh, but yeah, you can just buy typical clothes. And for 40, 40 kwai, that's that's actually pretty cheap. That's like eight bucks or something. So uh, not bad. You go into an H&M or something, a shirt like that would be uh, maybe 200, 250. So, you know, you can get some uh, workout clothes if you like to go to the gym. I usually go to the gym, so uh, maybe I should come here and get some shorts. And uh, for the ladies, you have some uh, workout clothes there, sports bras and whatnot. And then you have your typical, uh, you know, jeans, uh, that kind of stuff. And this is basically like any other Walmart. There's a sports section over there. I might walk over there and see what they have. So here you can see lots of basketballs. Basketball is actually super popular here in China. Uh, everybody likes to play basketball, um, but lots of basketballs you can buy. And some uh, footballs, soccer balls, depending on what you want to call them. Hula hoops, some other stuff you can buy, obviously just some sports stuff. There's also some toys back here it looks like. Again, Walmart sells lots of stuff. This one's a really huge store. Like I said, that's probably the biggest Walmart I've been in. Definitely the biggest one I've been in in China, but maybe even in the States, because this one is just huge. It is really massive. Yvonne, we got suitcases. Where are we going next? I don't know. Where should we go next, people? Yes, we don't know. Where do you go next? <laughs> oh, school supplies. Back to school. All the pens and all the notebooks and all the backpacks on the walls. Oh, stationery, Yvonne's favorite. Oh, stickers. Oh, let it go. Frozen. All the Disney princesses. Oh, the Hello Kitty ones. Hello Kitty. Huh? You need anything for school? Whoa, it's a whole section with a bunch of kids where you can sit and read books. There's like benches over there. It's like a whole library in the corner. Whoa. And we're still going. <laughs> I thought, thought we were at the end. 
They have Madeline. I wonder if it's the one that we used to read when we were children. Madeline in Paris. Oh yeah, if it says Fago, so a French girl. French girl. Um, probably gets in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Because the, oh, story. the little stories of Madeline was she lived in a house with a bunch of other girls and stuff and she always got in trouble. We used to read them when we were little. Lots of children's books. Whew, the store's so big I decided to take a break. There's some chairs here. <laughs> so I sat down. <laughs> this one's only so comfortable. It's, it's a little bit awkward, but whew. Put your feet up and relax. <laughs> oh, look at, look at all these blenders. Oh man, let's get a big nice blender like this and then I can make juice and lose all my weight. <laughs> <laughs> because we really have space in our kitchen. Totally, we have all the space. Like, you can get one like these. Oh, yeah. oh, I get the tiny little one? That's what you're going to give me? Yeah, because that'll fit. I'm, I'm going to get this big giant juicer. What else we got? Coffee pots. Air conditioned units. Stoves. Water boilers. Water boilers to keep your, your water heaters. Oh, fridge. Oh, a thousand. That's not too bad. You want to buy it? It's small, but yes. Our fridge at the house has always been a problem. This one's bigger and it's even less. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. What do you have? A vegetable area? Yeah, and then this is your. Maybe then our vegetables won't just go bad. Maybe they won't rot. And then your freezer compartment. You want it? I want it. Can they deliver if it? If we can stay in our apartment. Oh yeah, that's an issue. Because it's coming up, what? Oh, it's another eight months. Six, or seven months, something but like that. If we can stay, we should probably get another fridge. But then we can <laughs> keep it. Oh, air purifiers? Oh yeah, air purifiers. For the bad air, sometimes in China. Got some air purifiers down here. We actually have one in our house, but it's not working right now. We need to get it fixed. Want a new wash machine? Yeah. <laughs> oh, with the hot water? Wouldn't that be nice? All right, so we got everything. We're gonna head out. We got some, uh, some snacks. We got some uh, wine, crowns, we got some wine, rings, rings, we got a razor. razor, we got many things that we kind of needed but didn't need. What did you think of this experience here? Oh, it was quite overwhelming. Yeah, it's so a big store. So to see and it's, it's huge. Do you guys have big stores like this in the Netherlands at all? Uh, supermarkets? No, no. Like maybe now, but none that I can think of. I don't think so. Albert Heijn or Jumbo are really not, not, not nearly like as large as these stores, <laughs> no. What do you think of this one in China? Pretty good. I think I should come back and get my regular groceries here. But I think now I should go to the checkouts. All right, let's go, go check out and eat those Oreos. Yes, eat those Oreos. Everywhere you go, there's always lines. Doesn't matter if you're in the States or if you're in China. But we're in the checkout line. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, check out uh, Yvonne's channel also. We'll put a link here so you uh, can subscribe or go over there and watch one of her videos. She actually did a video about uh, us and a Dutch uh, supermarket. Yes. And we tried some Dutch snacks. Yeah, we went to uh, the supermarket and I ate some Dutch snacks. Go check that out. So it's you can see what funny. a Dutch supermarket see, looks yeah, like. Yeah, you can like laugh up <laughs> because of Miguel's face. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we ate some uh, herring and some licorice and some other things. You have to things go over there and, and check it out. <laughs> things I love, yeah. <laughs> so go over there and check that one out and uh, or watch some of our other videos on this channel. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Wave bye bye. <laughs>